Oh, hey there. So this vlog is a little bit less chaotic than the la as I'm saying it, I realize I'm totally lying. This vlog is all over the place. I'm currently in London for work and pleasure. It's actually really weird when they say work or pleasure because it seems dirty. Either way, I'm in London doing London things. There are a few stories, a few life lessons, and tons of cute British things. But much like last week, this is still mediocre at best. It might be a little too early to foreshadow, but remember this part. It's important. I think this is the most tired I've ever been. Oh my god, look at my eye. So tired, you can see it. Scratch that other clip. <laughs> Scratch that other clip. This is the most tired I've ever been. Look at those bags. I accidentally slept from midnight until noon. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Where am I? Help me. I mean, for a moment, I thought it looked like a heart. But it just, it kind of, I mean, it kind of looks like a fetus. Yo, can we take a moment? Because I'm editing this, and at first I thought I was a little bit kooky, a little bit jet lagged, but like, look at this image I found. My coffee, in fact, does look like a fetus. Shit. Or a butt. I'm jet lagged. But I look cute. I literally dream about this breakfast. It is life changing. Also, did that girl just ask what a Groupon is? Girl, get it together, Karen. <laughs> That felt like a personal attack. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to Connor's Im Imperfect... What did I call it before? Welcome to Connor's Mediocre at Best Vlog Part 2. <laughs> Today, Connor Franta is brought... That's not British. Oh, why can't I think of a British... Hello, I'm Brit- I can't think of a British accent. Oh god, I'm offending millions. This was- there was no alcohol in this. This was filled with water. <laughs> I also just realized that I'm wearing the shirt that I bought in the last vlog. Nobody cares. Hello and welcome to Connor's vlog. Please stop talking. I'm currently in the UK for London Fashion Week and for a YouTube Creators for Change event. So, you know, I got lots of, lots of little good, lots of little good. <laughs> The weirdest thing happened ever since I uploaded the last video. I've felt inspired again, which is really weird. I did not expect that to happen. I did not expect me to make that video, feel good about it, it get a good response, and me want to make another one. Me want to make another one. <sighs> and like, isn't that the point of this? Shouldn't I want to make content again? I mean like, I mean... Bliss. You can see the happiness on my face. It's natural. It's glowing. <laughs> I just did the, that effect and it so doesn't fit the theme, but I'm leaving it in. Oh my god, my earring kind of matches this. Quick story time. Oh my god. Remember that part at the beginning I told you to remember? Bitch, it's time. So like I said, I'm in London right now. And on the way here, this is something... <laughs> backtracking for a second. I'm from Minnesota, and people who are from Minnesota famously do not like to complain or bother people or be a burden to people. So that's just like engraved in my brain and personality, and it, it, I think it's forever going to be there. And I'm kind of fine with that. I've accepted it. I'm the type of person that if the waiter were to give me the wrong order at a restaurant, I would just accept it. I'd be like, no, no, I, it's okay. It's fine. You know, I don't eat meat, but. I'll just, I'll deal with the steak. It's fine, really, it's fine. It's so fine, it's okay, you know. 
whenever. So on the way here, I was on a plane for 11 hours and on that plane you get two meals. One of the meals I got uh, was a salad appetizer and then some sort of like rice and chickpeas bowl. So they bring out the salad appetizer to me. I'm eating it very slowly. It's delicious. It's got some grapefruit, some leaves, very refreshing. Tag yourself, I'm some leaves. Citrus based. Mm. I feel like I'm flying in a luxury box, 30,000 feet above the ocean. Lovely, who could complain? I'm about halfway through the salad, I'm about to take like my 10th bite, when in my peripheral vision, I'm about to take a bite, I can see, looking down at my salad, something moving. <laughs> There's something moving in my salad. <laughs> right in front of my salad. Right in front of my salad? Right in front of my salad? And honestly, at that point, I had had like two glasses of wine, so I was even more chill than I normally am. So I'm trying to process this. I'm really confused. Nothing should be moving in my salad. <laughs> it's just, there's, there's something funny about saying salad. I don't know. Salad? I set down the fork. I look down. And I'm not crazy. I'm not on drugs. I may be a little tipsy, but there is a caterpillar in my salad. 30,000 feet above the ocean, flying in a luxury box. Salad. Long story short, in typical me fashion, I had the quick moment of, do I tell them, make them feel bad, as in like my act of telling them is going to make them feel bad? They're going to stress, they're going to try to make me feel better. It's gonna be a whole ordeal. Just too much for me to handle, I don't want the attention, I'm fine, I'm tipsy, I enjoyed half of that salad. <laughs> Potentially consumed, another caterpillar, but really who knows? Or do I just, just cover that caterpillar up, push it aside, walk away and pretend it never happened? Caterpillar in the salad? I didn't see nothing. I did the latter of the two. I had the option to freak out, but I didn't. And there's something about that that is both expected, yet makes me very proud of me. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Okay, guys and gals, I gotta go to a party. My friend's got a house, therefore, we got a party. This really should be filled with alcohol now, but it's not. What am I gonna wear? Story of my life, what am I gonna wear? My third book title, what am I gonna wear? I get a little bit nervous when I think, wait. When I think about you. It was just, it was all for the continuity the visuals. I'm only now noticing that sign says, do me later, please, on it, so. These are, these are children's sunglasses, by the way. They're not even, yep. Hey, you want They're on my side. That bee was not having it. Did you see the way it jumped at me? <laughs> I look disgusting, but I just stopped for like 20 minutes on my run to look at all those flowers. How pretty. Life is pretty. I love life. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I ended up going back there two more times. Don't judge me, Karen. This is probably so American and tourist of me, but I'm sure a lot of you haven't been to London. I guess I don't know why I'm making that up. I don't know that. <laughs> Maybe literally every single one of you has been to London. But look how cute these houses are. Oh, look how beautiful. Look at all the colors. All the buildings are pretty, and a lot of them have colorful doors too. Oh my god, I love it. Just makes me happy, and it's so damn gay. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Yes! My level of cute aggression when I see this, it's, it's beyond words.
America could never. Okay, folks. That's it. Sorry, I look absolutely disheveled right now. I just got out of the shower and I'm off to the airport. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and leave a comment down below. What should I be doing better? Or, you know, just like compliment me. <laughs> we love charity. Okay, I love you. I'll see you soon. Hope you're having a great week. If you enjoyed this video, click a big thumbs up, leave a comment below. Do, 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 do. Bye. <laughs>